प्रेज द लॉर्ड खुदावंद मसीह के जलाली मुबारक और भले नाम में मैं पॉस्ट दानिश पीटर आज एक दफा फिर से आप तमाम प्यारे बहन भाइयों को ग्रेस नेटवर्क टेलीविजन के स्टूडियोज और ऑफिस से सलाम पेश करता हूँ वट अ वंडरफुल जॉय दिस इज दैट द लॉर्ड हैव चोजन अस इन दिस टाइम ऑफ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ मैन काइंड एंड एंड यू नो वेन गॉड चोज अस और वेन ही कॉल्स अस फॉर इज नेम there is a responsibility he always consider us responsible that we are going to fulfill what he has called us to do and i believe with all of my heart that this is the time that god is preparing the church for the day of the lord god is preparing the church for the coming of his son jesus christ my friends this is a time of urgency this is a time that we must not only walk with the gospel but run with the gospel and today uh, it is my privilege and it's my joy to have a man of god with me uh, pastor joshua i uh, who the lord is using in wonderful miraculous ways and uh, he is not just uh, uh, a minister in his country but god has expanded his reach uh, his influence in the nations of the world uh, pastor joshua is a wonderful man of god he's a pastor he's an evangelist and a part of just being uh, all of these good things he is a wonderful man he is a handsome evangelist and i believe that today when you will hear uh, the word from him when you will hear about his life his encounters with the lord his experiences with the almighty i believe with all of my heart that god is going to move in your life in your family so if you're sick or if you know someone who is sick uh you can give us a call the number is on your screens uh and we would love uh to deliver your prayer request to pastor joshua i uh but before uh that i connect with him and and have him speak with you all let me tell you this uh that today god is doing wonderful things and he is using grace network television and the missions ministry uh, in the nations of the world through television through missions outreaches and many more ways pastor joshua himself is a wonderful crusader uh, he is doing crusades all over and i just uh, come to know that he was in pakistan also uh, you know obviously not in the state where we are based but in another state but it is my joy uh, to see god move in the lives of the people and my friends hold on to wherever you are sitting just hold on because i believe that the holy spirit of god is coming to touch you right now in jesus name so pastor joshua we welcome you sir uh, for the very first time on grace network television how are you doing and how is indonesia doing Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me to speak on your television. Yeah, we are doing great. Even we are doing great in our country as well. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Great Praise thing, the Lord. Great thing is happening in our country. Amen. Yes. Pastor Joshua, uh please share a bit about your ministry and what you're doing right now. Sure, sure. So currently I am based in Myanmar. Mm. Like many people know as a bamis mm. bama people people know as a bama so i live there and we have a ministry in malaysia as well mm. so in our ministry in malaysia we call dumc then in myanmar we call miracle mega church so mm. i am a lead pastor there and bible school principal as well and i am an evangelist in our ministry praise the lord yeah. praise the lord pastor um you know obviously uh, i saw many 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 wonderful reports uh, from your ministry on social media and on the other platforms as well but but tell me that from where this journey with christ began today obviously god is using you in wonderful ways but where this all started what was that first encounter that you had personally with jesus christ sure like like less you know when i was 16 years old actually i was born from you know not the christian family mm-hmm. yes my mother is christian but my father is buddhist so i mostly i live together more with my father relative so i'm more used to with buddhist buddhist relative friend and family 
So I'm not familiar with the Christian background. I'm not familiar with Jesus Christ. So but when I was 16, our family moved to Malaysia. Mm. So that time, our my mother is she is Christian. So they used to go to church every Sunday. Mm. So by the time I'm used to follow to the church, my sister is very active member of the church. So she is not only involved in you know main celebration. She involved in youth ministry as well. So whenever she attend the youth ministry, I don't like to join the youth ministry as our you know as I'm too familiar with traditional church. So mm. I don't like to join those active church. So I only wait at outside only. So why I wait at outside? One day one of the one of the youth came to me. He came and talked to me to join in the youth service. So I deny him. I don't like to join. So he told me, why not we go to restaurant? Why not we go to restaurant and have a have a fellowship with him? So I say, that's good. So let us go and have had fun and have fellowship together. So we eat there together and he starts sharing me about gospel, which I never had before, which I never had before because nobody shared me about Jesus Christ. Wow. So, so I'm not familiar with being born again as well. So he starts sharing me about Jesus Christ, how he died on the cross and how, how he paid the price for my sin. So after he shared about Jesus Christ, I give my heart to Jesus. I start oh. receiving him as my savior. So from that day, I surrender my whole life to Jesus Christ. Not in church, not in, you know, gospel crusade. It's heaven in restaurant as well. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I see Jesus Christ and I give my whole life to him. From that day, you know, as the Holy Spirit start dwelling in my life, my life mm-hmm. will totally change. Even my direction is changed. You know, when I, when I go to Malaysia, we walk there. But when the Holy Spirit, when the Spirit of God start dwelling in me, my purpose and my direction is everything is changed because I knew my destiny. Yeah. Pastor, you know, it is it is one thing to know Jesus Christ and it's, an, it's another thing because, you know, even the non-believers, people who are not a Christian, they know about Jesus Christ. But, you know, the thing that you're talking about, you know, coming from a Buddhist background, coming from a, from a blood, bloodline, uh, where the idol worship was there and, and you know, you had a very different kind of um, uh, uh, vision, uh, different kind of way of thinking. But now God is using you in so many ways. Uh, where this ministry of Pastor Joshua, I began, you know, after, um, you know, believing on Christ, after giving your life to him, where your ministry actually began? What was the heart behind starting this ministry? Actually, it's like this, you know, like, as, you know, I see those non-believers, because as I came from, you know, uh, non-Christian, yes, my mother is Christian. Yes, we 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 have been to Sunday school church before, mm-hmm. but so I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I didn't know the salvation. Mm-hmm. So whatever I see non-believers, I have a burden to them. I have a burden. Then I want to reach out to them. But I'm, I don't know about the power of God. Yes. But you know, by the grace of God, I have seen some of the miracle men who are evangelists as well, powerful evangelists. So when I saw them, I, st- I start seeing healing power in their life. So I pray God, Lord, I want to, I want to, I want to minister to people with your healing gift, healing power. Amen. So I start from that. I have, you know, I, I am banning and I have passion to heal the sick. You know, usually so, on the page of uh, DUMC, um, I yeah. do watch your videos and, and, you know, our office people in our office, you know, when we first spoke, uh, there were a lot of things on my heart, good things about you and uh, about your ministry. So we shared it with our uh, coordinators, our team members here in Pakistan, and they all started, you know, following you and watching uh, what God is doing through you. And and they all were like, oh, brother, uh, Pastor Joshua is such a young man and God is using him in such a uh, powerful way. Uh, Pastor Joshua, what is the secret behind it when, when God used you for healing and miracles and, you know, uh, people are coming to your crusades, to your meetings. What's the secret behind it? All right. So, you know, like the first thing is we must have a desire, desire to perform miracle. Mm-hmm. We must have, 
we must have left. We must have the love of God. So we must we we must have the love of God to release over people. Mm. So that, this is the most important thing. Then we must have desire to operate in the gift of healing and operate in the gifts of power. Amen. So when you have desire, surely you will you 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 will pray to God. So you know, like two thousand start from two thousand thirteen, I start fasting and praying for forty days, just wow. with you know liquid fasting. So I just drink only for 40 days, not just a half day only, but a whole day. Like, so start from 2013 to 2018, every year I fast for 40 days. Wow. Then 2019, I start fast for, because what I want to see more miracle, more signs, I want a more open door. So I pray for 90 day fasting. If you look my, you know, my picture from 2019, 2018, you will see I'm like just a skeleton because I fast for 90 days. Then 2020, 2020, I fast for six men with liquid. Six months? Just six men with liquid. Wow. No food. And then, yeah, six men. So that is my skeleton day, you know. <laughs> yeah. So Incredible. because of that is because of my desire, I want to see more miracle. I want to see dead race. I want to see Amen. healing. To see deaf ear open, I want to see signs of wonder. That is my secret because Jesus say, "You can cast out this levels of demon without fasting and prayer." That's right. So, so fasting and prayer can grow our spiritual power. And yes, the most important thing is we must submit to authority. Yes, we must submit to a spiritual father. We must submit to a spiritual leader. Without the spiritual father. Covering, we can do those levels of miracle. Amen. Yeah, this is the very important thing. Yeah, brother, uh, can you share a few of the stories, some of the miracles that you remember that that were really outstanding? Uh, just you know, some of the miracles. Yeah, like you know, less few years ago, those miracle. I think it is, it is, you know, it is too much. You know, like like I think it is too wonderful, but. Right now, those miracles become, you know, like it, it became natural in my life. Yeah, because of, I have seen a lot during this day, mm -hmm. you know, like less, less, maybe like less seven years ago, I have seen one miracle, like people carry one lady, look like she is not alive. Even they can work her up also. Even the husband also cannot work her. So... They think, they, they, they start deciding whether we should bring to Pastor Joshua a healing crusade or we should bring him, we should bring her to hospital. So mm. the husband decided, I better bring to Pastor Joshua a crusade. So they brought her to my meeting. You know, I knew that this lady is not alive, not talking. So what I do is, you know, they put in one of the room, not in the, in the, in the, in the crop. So they put her in the room. So during the praise and worship, I go and talk to her, but she's, she's not alive. What we think is not alive. Maybe she's dying or we don't know, but we cannot work her already. Mm. So, but I pray for five minutes. It's not, she, she didn't come back to life. So I continue to pray another five minutes, another five minutes. Then after 50 minutes, she, she starts sneezing. No. Then she starts coughing. And she come back to life. Yeah. Praise the Lord. This, yeah, this is the big miracle I start seeing like seven years ago. Amazing. Then those kind of miracle is happening in my meeting a lot. In in, you know, in, like, in the promo video that you shared with me, I saw like canes and crippled walking and canes in your hand yeah. and people coming out of the wheelchairs. Last December, last 2023, December only like almost a few hundred cropper walk. Wow. A few hundred, only in December. Then, okay. you know, like 300, 300 deaf ear open. Amen. Is it over 300 deaf ear open? You know, some meeting, like only in one meeting, like almost a hundred people deaf ear open. Amen. And, you know, this like, becomes I, an evidence for the, for the non-believers 
that Jesus yes. Christ who they serve, he is so real. And today even he is performing miracles. It's, 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 a, it's a witness. Yeah, they can't deny. I told them, I told them, I you know, like some meeting, I bring deaf people to the platform. Like a few, like almost a hundred people of deaf people, they come up on the platform. Amen. Then I, I talk to the crowd. If these people are not here, not healed, I will not preach Jesus Christ again. <laughs> Before I heal them, I tell them. You know, it's a, so, it's a challenge, which sounds to be more yeah, like the challenge yeah, of Elijah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, I will never tell you Jesus is healer to you again. So I told them, they will surely be here. So all the family members are waiting. And, you know, I've, I tell them, I will not pray for five minutes. I will just declare one word. Then they will, they will hear. Amen. So meeting, every single people, they hear. Praise Everybody Lord, here. brother. It is it is amazing. My heart is just um, overwhelmed and and such full of joy uh, right now. Just listening to uh, all it, of these wonderful. You know, it can things. happen in your country as well. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. As, and we are so praying. Right now, we are, are praying. Listening. Yeah, as people are listening, they can be healed right now also. Amen. Yeah. Pastor Joshua, we are praying that soon we will have you here in Pakistan. But tell me. Tell me one thing. Uh, why do you believe why that the healing and miracle ministry is important to the church and the body of Christ in today's world, in today's time, 2024? Yeah, you know, like gospel, you know, as we say, like gospel is power to save people's soul. Mm. So whenever we preach gospel, we must perform miracles. Mm. Because, because gospel is not just word. Gospel is power. Amen. So whenever we preach gospel, because this gospel is alive, so we must see as a manifestation, not just a word. Mm. You know, like like a like a you know, in in your in in the in the judge court. If you go to judge court as a lawyer, we can win the case by what we talk. We can we win the case by. The evidence. evidence. Yes. So whatever we demonstrate power, whatever we, we pray for healing, that is the evidence. What we pray is true. So we must we must use healing power. Amen. And then number two, number two is because of Jesus command us. Jesus said, go and heal the sick. Mm. Not pray the sick. Heal the sick. Yeah. Not just to pray. We must heal it for sure. Amen. So because Jesus command us, so we must pray for the sick. Yeah. Pastor Joshua, what is what is the vision ahead? You know, obviously God is increasing you in the ministry and and in the specific uh, direction that God has given you for the evangelism and crusades and all of this. What is on your heart for the days to come for Pastor Joshua I's ministry? Yeah, we will we will do more for more for gospel crusade to save you know to win souls. Yeah, we will yeah. continue doing. We will, yeah. we will do until we, we preach the whole world. Yeah. Amen. Will, Amen. Then my my desire is to, to establish people and you know to encourage people to produce another miracle man to produce another people who are walking in you know like miracle signs and wonder dimension. Amen. So that is my desire to produce another disciple who are doing the same thing what we are doing. Wow. Yeah, Pastor, you are speaking my heart and I am so thankful to God for such a man of God. You know, first thing, obviously God is using you and he is using you for signs, wonders and miracles, which are not normal these days. I mean, uh, there are people who are desperately seeking for healing, but they are not being healed from last many, many years. Where should we go to whom shall we consult and all of these things. But you are bringing this message that Jesus is the healer. Jesus is the yeah. savior. And Jesus can heal you, not just in the spirit, but in the physical as well, in your, in your flesh, in your body as well. The second thing is that you are an inspiration for many young people around the world. And, and the way you said it, I just loved it, that you are you desire to raise many more people just like you, yourself, 
in this time, in this generation, who would go in the nations of the world and not just preach the gospel, but will demonstrate the power of the gospel. And, yes. and that's exactly the heart and the vision of uh, our ministry. Today, Pastor, there are several people from uh, around Asia and Middle East uh, who are sending their prayer request, and especially those people who are sick in their bodies. Uh, recently, we had a lady, uh, she was watching TV and she said, my mom was paralyzed for 13 years. From last 13 years, she could not walk. She was completely paralyzed. She said, I was watching TV. And when you were praying, Pastor, my mom uh, received healing immediately after you know just watching and hearing the word of god on television and she said that when you started praying the fingers of my mom started to move a, a little while later she said her feet started to move and now she said i am calling you after a week of this miracle and my mom is completely well there is no more paralysis after 13 years she can walk right now. So there are tons of testimonies coming, but at the same time, tons of prayer requests are also coming. So can I please request you to pray for all of those precious uh, brothers and sisters uh, and, you know, not just uh, Christians. There are people from uh, another belief systems as well. But as you said, that this Jesus that we preach does not only heal Christians, he heals Muslims, he heal Hindus, he heal Buddhists, he heal Sikh people, he heal everyone and he loves to heal. Can you please pray for them right now? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, I would like to pray for people who really want to heal the sick as well. I mm. want to activate gifts of the spirit in their life also. Yes. So whoever you are listening this broadcast right now, so if anyone sick people at your home, mm. I want you to Go and lay your hand on their body right now. In Jesus on the body part there, they need miracle right now. Hallelujah. So I want you to go right now. Don't waste your time. Don't just wait my prayer only. Go and lay your hand on them. I will activate the gifts of the spirit. So as I am praying over your life, the healing power of God will flow through your hand yes. to the sick body. And then you will see the evidence. You will see miracle signs and wonder that the power of God flow through your hand. So as you are listening right now, if you are evangelists, those who are willing to pray the sick, heal the sick, I want to encourage you right now, go and lay hand on somebody who need miracle right now. I want go and I want you to go right now. Don't just wait your heart, wait, wait, wait the time. I encourage you. I am commanding you right now. As you are obey and as you go, as you go, as you obey and as you go, you will start seeing signs of wonder. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. right now, anyone who, if you have, if you have nobody lay hand on your body, I want you, I want you, I want to encourage you, put your hand on your body part that you need be regular right now. I want to pray for you. If you have pain at your knee, if you are deaf, maybe yes. you have, your, your ear cannot hear, maybe one side. Mm. I want you to put your finger in your ear, right now, right now. If you need Thank miracle you. at your eyes, I want you to lay your hand on your eyes right now. Oh, Ramakata Rabaseke. Because Jesus wants to heal you. Because of he loves you. He loves you. His love want to heal you right now. If you are ready, I want to pray over your life. As I'm praying for healing miracle, I want to release the activating power of Holy Ghost. Oh, in thank you, Lord. Those who want to heal the sick, the power of God will activate it in your life. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I release your power. People who want to heal the sick, I activate right now. You are activated right now. As I am praying and as I am releasing the power of God, you, you are activated right now to, to heal the sick, yes. to cast out demons. To raise the dead, to raise the dead right now. May the power of God come upon your hand right now. Come upon your right life right now. In the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. Whoever wants to heal the sick, receive the power of God right now. Yes. The gift 
which is on me. I release and I impart on you life right, right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Whoever need miracle right now, I release the power of God over your body by the stripe of Jesus Christ. You are healed in Jesus' name. Yes. And I rebuke every pain. I rebuke every infirmity. I rebuke every sickness, every pain, and every infirmity. Leave right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. I am not just praying. I am commanding you right now. I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Out. Come out from their body Thank right now. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Don't just receive the prayer. You will found the manifestation of healing when you act by faith. Yes. When you act by faith. So if you believe my prayer is heal you, I want you to act. I want you to act. If you have anything you cannot move, start moving right now. If you cannot walk, start walking right now. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. You will see me for sure. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, you, Pastor Jesus. Joshua. I believe that there are many people who are touched, many people who are healed, many people who have received and been activated in the, in the ministry of healing. And I believe that it is a gift which is available for every single believer, whoever believes on Christ Jesus. He said, you will lay hands and they, the sick people will get healed. Pastor, we are, we are excited. We are very thankful for your time today. And, uh, uh, you know, it is not the last time that we have you, but we will request you to keep coming and keep blessing the yeah. viewers of Grace Network Television. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> And when uh, I come to Pakistan, I encourage people who want to move in the ministry of miracle signs and wonder, please come, please come to my meeting. Yeah, we yeah, will because you know, you know, when like you will boss. come, Pastor Joshua, yeah. we are not just going to have a healing crusade, but we are going to have uh, the conferences where we will teach people and we'll 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 request you uh, to you know help them be activated in sure. the ministry of healing and miracles. Oh, sure, sure. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you for your Hallelujah. time today. Uh, there is a number on your screen right now. Hame phone kare, hame bataye what God did in your life. And we would love to continue to stand with you. Or And, and, and if you're someone who is seeking help in, in the journey of your faith, in the walk of your faith, and you're finding it difficult, don't find it difficult. Call us right now. We would love to help you. Doesn't matter. It's through the literature. It's through consultation. It's through the word of God. Or it's through the prayer. We want to stand with you. Apna baut kya rakhega? हम आपसे फिर से मिलेंगे आपके अपने प्रोग्राम में ग्रेस नेटवर्क टेलीविजन पर टिल देन गॉड ब्लेस यू गॉड ब्लेस पाकिस्तान एंड गॉड ब्लेस योर कंट्री इन जीसस माइटी नेम